Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about how to solve a problem of Gauss elimination method. So, please see the problem. The following system of equation was generated by applying mesh current law to the circuit. Use Gauss elimination method to find current in the circuit. So, we have these three equations. If you remember, we discussed that while solving the problem of Gauss elimination method, first you have to perform partial pivoting. So, I will write it here, perform partial pivoting first. So, what to do here in case of partial pivoting? Please check coefficient of I1. The equation, those who have a coefficient of I1 is greater, consider this as a equation number 1. So, if you observe a coefficient of I1, we will get this 3 I1 plus I2 minus 4 I3 equal to 0 as a first equation. So, this will be your first equation. Leave it. Go for uh, remaining two equations. Check the coefficient of I2. So, if you see this 2 I2 is greater than 1 I2. So, we will take this equation as minus I1 plus 2 I2 plus I3 will be equal to 8. So, this will be your equation number 2. And what is your remaining equation? It will be 2 I1 minus I2 plus 3 I3 will be equal to 8. So, treat this as a equation number 3. So, first, what is the first step? Perform partial pivoting. Now, after performing a partial pivoting, we are going to write it in a matrix format. So, how to write it in a matrix format? We know that, what is this? <coughs> this will be uh, your augmented matrix. So, how to write it in an augmented matrix format? It will be, I am going to write it, it as, this is your 3, minus 1, 2, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 4, 1, 3, and uh, constant values are 0, 8, and 8. Now, what is the first step? First step is what we have to do. In a first step, we have to make this element, this 3, as a 1. So, this will be your row R1. So, how to write it? R1 will be equal to R1 divided by 3. So, let me perform this to this particular uh, matrix. There is no need to change in R2 and R3. So, I am going to write it R2 and R3 as it is. So, let me write it here. This will be your 8. This will be your 8. Now, R1. To this R1, if you see, to this R1, we are going to divide it by 3. So, it will be what? 1. If you do 1 divided by 3, it will be what? Let me take it 0 0.333. Let me take it only 3 digits. If you divide R1 to this column, to this column, what is R1? Minus 4. So, minus 4 divided by 3, you will get it as minus 1.333. And 0 divided by 3, it will be 0. So, we what we did? In a first step, we make made this element as a 1. In a step number 2, now what we have to do? With the help of this 1, whatever we have made from R1, we have to make this R2 element and R3 element as a 0. So, I will write it as by. Now, in which row we need to do change? R2. So, I will write it as R2 will be equal to R2. We have to take help of this, that is nothing but R1. So, this will be minus 1. So, opposite of that, it will be a plus 1. Next, we have to make this element of R3 as a 1. So, I will write it here as R3 will be equal to R3. Okay, And here, we need to take a help of R1. Here, it is plus 2. So, I have to write it here as a minus 2. So, these are the equations. Now, we have to apply these equations to all elements. Okay, so this will be what? 1, 0, 0. We are making these elements 0, so that's why I am writing it directly. Now, we will be doing change in R2 and R3. There is no change here, so I will write it as it is 0 0.333. And this will be minus 1.333. And this element will be again as it is. So, let me write it here, it will be 0. Now, next steps, no need to do it. You can do it in a rough, but still... In order to understand, I will be able to write it here, all these things. 
we will apply this r2 equation to every column let's say to this column what is your value of r2 it is 2 plus 1 into what is r1 0 0.333 so if you do a calculation 2 plus 1 into 0 0.333 you will get answer as 2.333 again apply this r2 formula to this column so what is r2 it is 1 plus 1 into what is r1 minus 1.333 so if you do it 1 plus 1 into bracket minus 1.333 then you will get answer as minus 0 0.333 again apply the same formula to this column if you see in this column what is r2 it is 8 plus 1 into r1 is 0 so you will get this answer as a 8 i think you understood how to do it next is now we are going to apply here um, a second uh, thing that is r3 will be equal to r3 minus 2 r1 so again to this particular uh, column what is r3 r3 is minus 1 minus 2 into what is r1 0 0.333 so let me solve this minus 1 minus 2 into 0 0.333 so if you do it you will get answer as minus 1.666 Next is, now uh, apply this R3 minus 2 R1 formula to this third column. So what is R3? It will be 3. Okay, R3, let me check. Yes, R3. Then minus 2 into, what is R1 here for this formula? Minus 1.333. So let me solve this. 3 minus 2 into bracket minus 1.333. So you will get your answer as 5.666. Okay. Again apply this second formula R3 equal to R3 minus 2 R1 to this column, last column. So what is R3? It is 8 minus 2 into 0. So what you will get? Answer will be equal to 8. I think you people understood how to solve this. Next is step number 3. What to do? we have to make this particular element as a 1 means we need to do change in r2 by dividing that element itself we will get that element as a 1 so we need to divide it by this so let me do it what will be this 1 0 0 we are doing change only in r2 so i am going to write this r1 and r3 as it is these terms so it will be 0 this will be minus 1.666 this will be 5.666, this 8 will be as it is. So here we are doing this step to make this element as a 1. So it will be 1. Now to this column apply your formula. What is R2? It is minus 0 0.333 divided by 2.333. So let me do this minus 0 0.233 divided by 8.333. You will get answer as minus 0. 0279 minus 0 0.0279 and let me do it for this for this column what is r2 it is 8 divided by 2.333 so if you do it 8 divided by 2.333 you will get answer as 3.4290 3.4290 now what is the next step what to do now with the help of this middle term middle one we have to make this element as a 0. So we are going to do change in the R3. So I am going to write it here R3. We have to take help of R2. So I am writing here R2. This element is minus 1.666. So I am going to write it as 1.666. So let me compute this 100. 0, 0. Now there is no change in R1 and R2. So let me write this R1 and R2 as it is. 1 minus 0 0.0279 here it will be 0 here it will be 3.4290 we are doing this step to make this element 0 so that's why we are putting it as a 0 now apply to this particular column what is your r3 it is 5.666 plus 1.666 into bracket what is r2 minus 0 0.0279 so let me do this 5.666 plus 1.666 into bracket minus 0 0.2739 so you will get answer 
for this as 5.2011 again you apply for this particular uh, column what is r3 r3 is 8 so let me write it here r3 is 8 plus 1.666 into r2 what is the value of r2 here it is 3.4290 so let me do this 8 plus 1.666 into bracket 3.4290. So we will get answer as 13.7127. Okay. Now what is the next step? If you see for a step number 5, you have to make this element as a 1. So I am writing it as R3 will be equal to R3 divided by 5.2011. So let me solve this. This will be your 100. Zero, zero. This will be 10. Okay. What is this element? It will be 0.333. As it is expected to do change only in third row. So I am going to write uh, second row and first row as it is. So minus 1.333. This will be 0. This is your minus 0 0.0279. This will be 3.4290. Okay. Now as we are making this element 1, so we will get here answer as a 1 only. Now for this column, for this column, what is R3? It is 13.7127 divided by 5.2011. So 13.7127 divided by 5.2011. You will get answer as 2.6364. Now here, if you observe, we will get upper triangular matrix that is all diagonal elements are 1 and all uh, this, 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 this will be 0. This is called as upper triangular matrix even though whatever it may be, these elements will be a uh, non-zero. Now we will do a method of back substitution. So how to do a back substitution? What to be performed here in a back substitution? So let me write it here. This will be for I1, this is for I2. This is for I3. So I can write it as 1 into I3 will be equal to 2.6364. So we will get answer of I3 will be equal to 2.6364 ampere. Next is C for this. 0 into I1 plus I2 minus 0 0.0279 into I3 will be equal to 3.4290. So you just substitute value of a I3, whatever you will get, whatever you, uh, you obtained in a previous uh, previous uh, step. So I2 will be equal to how I can write 3.4290 plus 0 0.0279 into I3 is 2.6364. So let me do this 3.4290 plus 0 0.0279 into bracket 2.6364. So if you calculate it, you will get answer of I2 as 3.5025 ampere. So this was the answer you got for I3. This is the answer you got for I2. Now go for this particular line. So row, you will get 1 into I1. So I will write it here as a I1 plus 0.333 into I2. So 0.333 into i2 okay and minus 1.333 minus 1.333 into i3 is equal to 0 now initially you have determined what is the value of i3 and i2 so let me do it 1.333 i3 minus 0.333 i2 so what is the value of 1.333 what is the value of i3 you determine that value 2.6364 2.6364 minus 0 0.333 what is the value of i2 3.5025 so if you solve it you will get answer 1.333 into bracket 2.6364 minus 0.333 into bracket 3.5025 so if you do it you will get answer as 2.3479 ampere so what is the value of I1? 2.3479. What is the value of I2? 3.5025 ampere. What is the value of I3? It is 2.6364 ampere. 
so this is the case how we can solve a problem by using gauss elimination method if you have any doubt please feel free to ask any questions thank you for watching this video thanks a lot